hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about angular displacement the word angular comes from rotation for example we'll take this uh, diagram in order to explain the angular displacement for example when a body of mass m having a radius r is moving in a circular path uh, in the direction from uh, uh, point p to some other point in anti-clockwise direction the distance covered by that body the distance covered by this body in anti-clockwise direction or if if at some instant if we stop this at this instant this th uh, is known as angular displacement or uh, in order to explain the angular displacement mostly right hand rule is used the right hand rule is that when uh, a body is covered a distance in the the in the in the left uh, in the anti clockwise direction in which the finger are finger of the right hand show the direction of the motion and the thumb of the right hand will show the direction of angular displacement this is known as right hand rule for angular displacement for, um, first of all we need to understand that uh, how body is moving if body is moving in the anti clockwise direction the angle between them is theta this angle is known as angular displacement or this distance or displacement covered by that body uh, for some time is the angular displacement for anti clockwise direction the angular displacement will be positive and for the clockwise direction for example when body uh, start from point A and cover the distance some distance at point B or C then we can say that this is a clockwise direction this is a clockwise direction and it is a negative uh, angular displacement in order to explain more about the angular displacement there are three basic units three basic units for the angular displacement one is degree degree other is revolution and third one is radian degree and revolution are well known units but radian is not a well known unit but this radian is an SI unit of angular displacement SI unit so we know that what is degree and what is revolution uh, one revolution is equal to 360 degrees it means that when a body covers one revolution of in the form of circle uh, for example it starts from point A and a, uh, in the uh, circular path it also come point A it complete one revolution and one revolution is 360 degree but no one knows about the radians first of all we need to define what is, what is radian so the radian is SI unit we need to define the SI unit by using this diagram this diagram explains that when a body moves from uh, from its initial point to the final point when it covers a distance of S if this arc length or this distance is equal to radius of the circle then the body is known as or the angle between these two curve and radius is known as one radian uh, we need to calculate radian theta or uh, angular displacement is equal to arc length divided by this radius of the circle arc length in this case our arc length is no named as s theta is equal to s over r or s is equal to r theta this is well known so in addition we need to calculate this is in the form of radians in addition we need to calculate about the value of uh, revolution degree and radian we know that we all know that one revolution is 360 degree but we we do not know about one radian what is one radian or and how we can calculate about radian so uh, we can say that one revolution is equal to 360 degree or uh, when a body covers from initial point to again in the circle motion to form uh, a circular path and 
comes at initial point again it covers a complete revolution and in the form of uh, revolution or in the form of circular motion we, we can say that this is 2 pi it covers a 2 pi so 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radians from this expression we can calculate the value of radian what is the value of radian so 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian and if we want to calculate the value of 1 radian so we will divide 2 pi on both sides divided by 2 pi and divided by 2 pi so this 2 pi is cancelled out only one radian is remaining here and this 360 degree and 2 pi is remaining out so we need to calculate one radian is equal to 360 degree divided by 2 and the value of pi is 3.141159 so usually or in simply we can write 3.14 if we divide this, the value of 1 radian is equal to 57.3 degree. This is uh, a value of 1 radian and it can be asked in the intro test questions and MCQ. This is well known MCQs in the exams as well as intro test, entrance test question. In addition, one, one MCQ or one question can be asked, but uh, no one knows about it. No one usually asks about this question. What is the value of one, one degree in the form of radian? One degree is equal to. We do not, we do not know, and no one knows about it. What is the value of one degree? And mostly student fails to solve this. Uh, let us solve this or let us calculate the value of one degree we know that uh, 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree because in the revolution form 2 pi when a body covers a complete revolution it covers a 2 pi in the form of re uh, revolution 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree because one revolution completes a 360 degree the, our purpose is to calculate the value of 1 degree. So here is a degree. We need to divide 360 on both sides in order to calculate the value of 1 degree. So divided by 360 on both sides. So this 360 will be cancelled out by 360 only degree. 1 degree is remaining. 1 degree is equal to 2 pi divided by 360 so if we open this uh, we can calculate easily about the value of 1 degree 1 degree is equal to 2 the value of pi is 3.14159 divided by 360 and if we calculate the value of 1 degree will be if we simplify this 1 degree is equal to 0 0.0174 5. You can also say that this is in the form of radian. And this is well known or uh, MCQs in the entry test question in ECAT and MCAT. Up till now we have finished about the angular displacement and we, we discussed three basic units and one SI unit of the angular displacement. We will See you in the next video. If you have any question, you can write us in the comment box or if you like our video, you can subscribe our channel for more videos. See you. Bye-bye.